Hello everyone, welcome to Ali Tag Gaming Time. There was supposed to be one coming out last week, but it was just... I'm just going to apologise and not make an excuse about it. I will try my best to do better in the future. Okay, and because of that, we do have a lot of things to talk about. Stuff from last week and this week. So Battlefront 2, so let's start with that. So there's a new event going on this weekend and it's going to be from Friday to Monday like usual and it's the triple XP event for Starfighters only. This will affect the following modes, Starfighter Assault and Hero Starfighters. Now also Genosis, and I know I'm late on this, but let me just put it here will be coming to Arcade, Blast and Heroes vs. Villains for the January update. And also, apparently we're supposed to be getting a Dooku community transmission, but it's in, it's basically not in Ben's hands at the moment, so unfortunately because of that, we're still waiting on it. I'm hoping it will release beforehand, let's not start this year off with some lateness. It won't be the end of the world, but it'll just be, just, it'll just be frustrating, it will be. And then also, just to add to this, um, they've also said that they've talked over some names for the two new modes that will be coming in uh, the February update, and one of them the names won't be, they're not using Conquest for like Galactic Conquest, that won't be used. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what happens in that update too. So, Star Wars uh, video games. Now, under the EA license, we have had Battlefront, Battlefront 2, mobile games like, you know, like usual. We've also had LEGO Star Wars The Force. Awakens, which strangely enough, the EA like logo is not on there whatsoever. So it's interesting. Does Disney and uh, Lego do they have some sort of deal? But the reason why I bring all this up is because EA has cancelled a Star Wars open world video game that I'm guessing you don't destroy by now. But now things have changed. As a solve that. Basically, they are working on something else, and they are hoping to release it by 2020. Now, there has been an official statement out by EA, and what do I think of it? I think that this game is a complete mess. I don't think they're going to release anything. But, again, we're just going to have to wait and see, because it, it is a shame. Look. I don't get frustrated with EA a lot. If you can tell, I defend them a lot, I do. And I want to believe that they are changing. Like the whole loot box thing is not going to be a thing anymore. What about FIFA? I don't care about FIFA. But the one thing that gets me like not happy is when they cancel Star Wars video games. So... It, it sucks, it does. Honestly, it sucks. But look, here's the worst that could happen. Jedi Fallen Order gets cancelled. I know many people said that last year got put on hold or cancelled, but with the apparent leaks information, it looks like it's still going on and set to be released this year. After all, even EA have said that. So, hopefully we can look forward to Jedi Fallen Order and then we'll see what the future brings because after playing Horizon Zero Dawn I've learned that there's more to life than Star Wars. So this week concluded the, the, the Fantastic Four Celebration Week and last week as you know you may have seen a tree that something fantastic has come to Spider-Man and then Insomniac Games quote tweeted that well so Batman Arkham so I have seen the video where it's the leaked uh, voice recording session with Roger Craig Smith, one of the voice actors of Batman, and also I've seen the photo of the 10 year challenge. Now, here's what I think of this. Until we see something official, 
I don't believe anything. I want to believe that uh, we're going to get something in May of 2019. But again, I don't believe that at the same time. I want to, but until I see something official or something that makes me go, Oh, okay, I won't be set to believe it. I want to hope, but again, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Battlefield 5 um, put out a new update this week. Now, this update included some modes, old and new, some new content, bug fixes and more. Now, I can't really remember everything that was said in the patch notes. I'm literally just downloading the update now. But um, I haven't basically heard anything for single player content for the practice wing. So... We'll see what happens, I'm not giving up just quite yet, but I do hope that they do do more after they said they would do more with the practice wing. I just want to let you know that the Resident Evil 2, the one-shot demo, is still available and will be available until January 30th on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and apparently PC, even though I can't find it. So, we don't have that long until Life is Strange two episode two releases. I can't remember when the episode one trailer was released, but we haven't gotten anything about episode two. Now, I just want to recall on some bits. On the farewell episode, we didn't get a trailer for that one in Before the Storm until the day before the episode got released. The thing is, Dante has all this time in the world to create a trailer or whoever is doing this have all this time to make a trailer and then release it so is this how it's going to be are they just going to release it a day beforehand or on launch day because trailers are supposed to give us a perspective of what the episode will be it's supposed to give us a perspective of what things would be and maybe just to keep us like in the minds of what's happening because today as of recording on Thursday they have released an animated uh, video of previously what happened in episode 1 and a little bit of context of what could happen in episode 2 about who they can trust uh, it'd be interesting to see who they can trust because man these kids just, it's just drastic, drastic whatever but look, I just hope that they release an episode 2 trailer soon, at least before the episode gets released, because if they don't, uh, be like DICE and just do it on the day or late. So recently, I've played Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. I've completed the main story from the New Game Plus mode to and including the Frozen Wilds, and I've even got all allies joined at that, that um, achievement trophy. Now, this is not all with you, but I do plan to do one. But Horizon Zero Dawn, I can finally understand why people want a second one. But I will say this though, I don't think Aloy's story hasn't been finished. She needs to come back because if they're teasing for Hades and Scions to come back, then I do think that the usual world should come back with the Frozen Wilds world. It maybe extend it, and of course, change things up. Like, apparently with Wed Dead Redemption 2, they not just made the world bigger, but they changed things up. And also you could play in the same world from Wed Dead 1 and Wed Dead 2. So maybe if they did something in like Horizon Sword on like this, then maybe it could be amazing. I disagree that this should be a prequel to some sort. If you want to show us what happened previously, why as well just just add DLC to to the current game of Horizon Sword on or have that as DLC in the next um, Horizon game, which would be Horizon 2, of showing what the human life was like before the thrower robots destroyed it all. But I do think, still, that Anoya, Hades and Scions should come back with the, all the other allies, all the familiar robots, and maybe some new ones too, because at this point, I don't think Guerrilla Games is done. 
And what makes this game so special is not just the story, not just the characters, but the engine that they use. I'm impressed by the games that I've seen, from like the engine that EA and DICE uses to games like the Unreal Engine. I am... I don't know. There's something about this that the engine that Gorilla Games use may be the best looking engine that I've ever seen. They make stories and just they just make it more emotional, more will. This is why I'm saying that I might give Death Stranding a go when there's a release date and when I've watched some trailers and gameplay and then maybe, maybe I might just buy it then. Anyway, look, there's more I want to talk about uh, when it comes to Horizon Zero Dawn and if or when they do another one, but that will be another day that will be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend if this comes out and peace.